from Hollywood, it's the, 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 the Tom Micah Show. I don't like it. Me neither. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacker or a convicted felon. No! I am your host. Write down our toll-free telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5800-TOP. 1-800-5800-866. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. Here we are together again on the radio. Another beautiful Southern California day. A little chilly, but hey, you got to love it. I know I do. I've got a story here that I find fascinating. It's about Eddie Murphy. Have you seen this story? I just love this. I'm reading this from the San Francisco Chronicle, but uh, the story is everywhere. says here, according to reports, actor Eddie Murphy has refused to meet his daughter which with British pop star Melody Brown. Melody Brown is also known as Scary Spice. Says here, the actor previously denied he was the father of, her name is Angel Iris, until DNA test results proved his paternity in June. Brown's legal team is currently attempting to thrash out maintenance and visitation rights for the child at a Los Angeles court, but the case has been postponed for three months because Murphy has refused to submit an offer. And this is the good part. Or let's just say it's the interesting part. Murphy has reportedly told his legal team he has no interest in ever meeting his daughter. A source told the London Sun newspaper, Mel was furious. She had been planning to take Angel to the courthouse to meet her dad for the first time. Isn't that great? Let's take the kid to the courthouse where mommy is fighting daddy for tens of thousands of dollars a month in child support. Won't that be great? And imagine he didn't want to meet his daughter. Imagine that. Now, I wasn't there when Eddie Murphy uh, banged Melanie Brown. I have no idea what that was like, what that was about. I know Eddie Murphy has many children. I'm not even sure how many, but he's got many. And I have no idea if Eddie laid down the law and said, by the way, this is just for fun. I don't want to have any babies. I have no idea. And I have no idea if uh, after it was announced that Melanie Brown was pregnant or after she had the kid, uh, I have no idea what took place between these two people. All I'm going to say is this. I'm guessing that Eddie Murphy had no intention of having any children with this woman. I'm guessing that Eddie Murphy just saw this relatively hot, though, over-the-hill chick. Come on, she's, what, 34? She passed her sell-by date some time ago. And with the money Eddie Murphy has... He could do better, could do younger, could do hotter. Okay. But I'm imagining that 
the idea of this was not that he didn't have enough children, that he needed to pass on the family name. God forbid we shouldn't have any more Murphys in the world. I am guessing here that the idea of this was Eddie Murphy sees hot younger chick and says, I want a piece of that. And aging, over the hill, former little Pop-Tart who hasn't done much professionally lately, sees Eddie Murphy's big bank account and says, you know what? I see the father of my next child. I'm just guessing here, okay? I can only guess because I was not there when any of this happened. So she has the baby, and she says, of course, it could only be Eddie. He's the only guy I slept with. Eddie says, it isn't mine. Bang, bang, boom. They do the DNA test. Guess what? It's Eddie's baby. Now, I know there are probably a lot of you women out there who are saying, he's terrible. Imagine a man not wanting to meet his own daughter, his cute little daughter. Imagine him not wanting to meet her. In case you haven't heard me say this before, let me reiterate it right now. I have said for years, I don't want to be a parent. I take every precaution I can take, short of snipping the lines, up to and including telling women, you know, I don't want to have a baby. Asking them, if you get pregnant, will you have an abortion? What have you? I mean, I do everything I can to let them know that fatherhood is not in my future. No interest. I live in a big, beautiful home with a big, beautiful wine cellar. I have a big, beautiful car. I'm about to buy a second big, beautiful home up north. I don't have children. I have buildings. I have real estate. I have wine. And that's all I want to have. And I've made that really clear. I can't prove that Melanie Brown disobeyed Eddie Murphy's wishes and went ahead and had a baby against his will. Maybe they never discussed it. But whether they did or they didn't, it doesn't matter. I know in my own case, I have discussed it. I have made clear where I stand on this issue. And if somebody did that without consulting me, if somebody went ahead and had a baby against my wishes, I would do the exact same thing Eddie Murphy is doing here. In other words, uh, I would just say, you can take my money, you can take me to court, but you can't make me participate, and I'm not going to. And I think there's nothing wrong with what he's doing. Nothing. So this story is being published everywhere. And I know there are plenty of people out there who are saying how terrible Eddie Murphy is. Imagine not wanting to see your own daughter. But you know what? Not only does he have every right to be like that, but if he didn't want to be a father again, why wouldn't he say that? What's wrong with saying that? You know what? This was not something he wanted to do. Now, Eddie Murphy was married in the past, and he had lots of kids because he wanted to. And if he wanted to do that, good for him. Uh, if that makes his life better, I think that's fantastic. I think it's great. He made the decision to do it, and I think it is fantastic. Anybody wants to do that, and they do it, and it makes them happy, good for them. But if he has enough kids, if he's had enough, or maybe he just wanted to have a one-night stand with somebody else in show business or whatever, he has every right to do that, and he has every right not to feel obligated to get involved in something, especially if he did not want it to happen in the first place. For God's sake. 
So what I am wondering here is this, okay? Uh, like you've heard this story. Eddie Murphy does not, according to the story in the San Francisco Chronicle, does not ever want to meet his daughter. Not now, not at the courthouse, not during the child support and custody hearings. He just has no interest. He has the right to be like that, doesn't he? He has the right to say no, not interested. What is it with all these people out there saying there's something wrong with what he did? The guy does not want to be the father of this child. He's got his reasons, and he's entitled to them. Isn't he? Tom Likas. 1-800-5800. Tom. Hello? Hello? The Tom Likas Show. It's the Tom Likas Show. I just swallowed some Perrier. And the bubble came up. Right as I had to talk. Why am I going to try to vamp and pretend it didn't happen? Come on. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. San Francisco Chronicle says Eddie Murphy may never want to see his daughter. The daughter he had with Melanie Brown. The woman formerly known and occasionally now known as Scary Spice. You want to hear Scary, I think. uh, Have her do a solo sometime. Have her sing a (laughs) cappella. Without a producer. (laughs) There's Scary. That's how she got her name. Yes. Anyway, uh, let's go to your calls here. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. It's Stacy on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello. Yes. I just wanted to say that I, I don't think Eddie has a right to just walk away from this kid. Well, yes, he does have a right to do that. Uh, come on, dear, don't be ridiculous. He has a right to do that. Well, okay, yes, he has a right to do it. I just think he has a responsibility to take responsibility for this kid. No, he, he will do whatever the court tells him to do, of course. I don't necessarily mean financially. I mean in her upbringing, in her... Hey, he, maybe he doesn't want to be a, a parent to this child. Maybe he didn't want to have any more kids. Well, maybe he should have not had unprotected sex with this chick. Well, we don't know that he had unprotected sex. He could have had protected sex. He could have protected sex and the condom leak broke, uh, cracked, fell off. Well, then he should have not had sex with her at all. Well, well, he did, but uh, he has every right to not want to have a baby. Uh, I, I, I understand where you're coming from, but I just think that, you know, there's a kid there and the kid shouldn't have to suffer. Well, uh, guess what? Uh, the, the kid's mother should have thought about that, maybe discussed it with Mr. Murphy uh, before she went ahead and had his baby. Good point. <laughs> Good point. She did this on her own without consulting with him. Now he's supposed to get involved. By the way, didn't he get married or isn't he getting married to somebody else? Or did she get married to somebody else? One of them or both of them got married or is getting married to someone else? I have, I have no clue. Well, maybe maybe he just doesn't want his life all complicated like that. Yeah, I, I get where you're coming from. But, you know, the kid's there. The kid's... Well, but it wasn't his decision. It, it it was his decision to, to, to participate in the act. No, though. but it was not his decision to have a baby. You know, having sex does not mean you have to have a baby. <laughs> I don't have any children. You don't have to have a baby. Yeah, but you, you know... Take I've decided to have sex many it. times. I'm telling you, if somebody went ahead against my will and decided to have a baby, they're raising that kid on their own. I'll do what I'm legally required to do and no more. I, 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 you know what? There's different sides to everything. I just well, I just, if yeah. if a woman knows in advance that I don't want to have a baby, here are the choices she has: don't have sex with me, right, right. If don't don't have sex with me without using birth control. If she knows in advance, if 
Well, the whole world knows, presumably, because I've been saying this on the radio for 25 uh, years. Well, I yeah, don't well, want to have a baby. If, if somebody got, got, by the way, a woman, one of the four women who I've saluted on this program as a national hero for having an abortion on my behalf, uh, called off the air on this show and said how much she regretted it and wished she hadn't done it. Wish she hadn't had the abortion? Right. She wishes she hadn't. Because we'd have like a 16-year-old today. <laughs> That's scary. Well, yeah, think about it. But, <laughs> but guess what? She knew then what everyone else knows today. I have no interest. Yeah, but you're putting it out there. You're not, you're not lying to people. You're not... No, wait, you're, you're wait, 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 lying? Wait a minute. Why, because Eddie Murphy decides, I'm an attractive celebrity, this is a relatively attractive celebrity, and I want to have sex with her. How is he lying? Not necessarily lying. He just, he, 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 you should probably discuss it. You should probably, you know. Well, take, by the way, dear, that's great, you know, when you live uh, in the suburbs, you live on Wisteria Lane in a house with a white picket fence. <laughs> and you and Mike Delfino, the plumber, get together and decide that you, you know, but whether or not you want to have a baby. But but you know how this happens. Two people meet at a nightclub in West Hollywood, and the champagne is flowing, and the cognac is flowing, and two people go upstairs to a hotel room. I don't know. Who knows how it happened? The Standard, the Mondrian, somewhere. Bing, bang, boom. They, they don't go out for a cup of coffee and discuss what the scenarios might be. People just aren't like that. <laughs> people I know are. <laughs> Darling, we're not talking about people who are married or people who live down the block from, from, from Beaver Cleaver, okay? We're talking about people who are in the entertainment business, who are flying around the world all the time, and they ride in limousines, and they're doing things on the fly. Yeah, I, I know what you're saying. I just... I just feel bad for the kid. I think the kid needs well, to have someone. Well, then the mother really should have thought maybe I don't want to have a kid. Maybe I should have an abortion. Maybe I should have used birth control. Yeah, maybe she did, though. Well. You know, I, there's a lot of maybes. There's a lot of different ways it can go. I, I just think once the kid's there, the kid's there, and people need to pony well, up. Well, again, the but the kid is there because she made a decision against his will. Yeah, she she made a decision to have the child, but he made a decision to, you know... And, darling, we all things. make... Uh, darling, I've made uh, the decision to have sex with, I would say, hundreds of women. Hundreds? That did not mean I made a decision to have hundreds of children. Yeah, because you took precautions and triplicates. Darling, we don't know whether he took precautions. Well... What if he know, took precautions? He, he, so you're saying if he wore a condom, it's okay to walk away. Well, maybe he should have worn a condom and made sure she was on birth control, made sure she had whatever Jepro Provera shot or whatever else. Is maybe out she there. just should have had a morning after pill or an abortion. Shoulda, coulda, woulda. But the, right, but the point there. is, it's not his problem because he didn't make the decision. He made the decision to go to bed with her, though. That's not the point. That has nothing to do with it. Because he decided to go to bed with her did not mean he wanted to be an active, functioning parent. But you have to take responsibility for your No, actions. you don't. Or you have to do what the law requires you to do, which he will do. Okay. I just think it's I think it's really sad that this kid's gonna miss out on, on a on a dad. Well, then 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 this woman should have shown more discretion in A, who she slept with. And B, she should have shown more discretion regarding whether or not you, you have a child under these circumstances. Yeah, and maybe he shouldn't be sleeping around. Darling, men like sleep that. around. <laughs> That's what we do. That's what you do, huh? Right. And don't you think it's a little bizarre that she said, I was planning on having her meet him for the first time at the courthouse. Oh, isn't that wonderful? Oh, yeah, you're right. That, that's totally bizarre. I mean, that, that 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 is indicative of someone that's looking for attention or whatever. It is money. To do. Money. She's looking for money, in my opinion. Money. Dude, I can't believe that there's people out there that use a kid just from... Money. I don't Why not? 
kids are, are great. They're cool. They're wonderful to have around. Have Wait a minute. There are people who use kids for all kinds of things. Do you remember here in L.A. years ago, there was a, there was a woman whose daughter had leukemia? Remember this story? Yeah, and they couldn't yeah, find a, they couldn't it's, find a donor. Remember right, that, right? And so, like, they needed a bone marrow donor. They couldn't find a donor. So this this woman had a baby solely for the purpose of having a compatible donor. Right. But what do you think about that? She's, she, but she's showing. Yeah, but she's doing what a mother would do. It doesn't mean she's... That's not the point. Less. I mean, imagine you when you, you grow up and you find out your purpose in, in being born was so that somebody could farm your uh, bone marrow to save somebody else's life. To save your sister or your brother. Your sister, life. but you didn't exist at the time. You would never have been created if your sister didn't get sick. Yeah, but I don't. I, don't, I didn't grow up feeling any less. I mean, that that, that person could be in our listening. Like that, that person probably is in our listening area today. Could be listening to this broadcast. <laughs> Mommy I, had you because we needed to give you an operation to take your bone marrow and give it uh, to the sister who didn't previously have you as a sister. Yeah, but to me, if someone if someone said that to me, I would feel pretty dang special. I saved someone. That's life. you. If yeah, somebody said that to me, I'd think, well, that's it? That's I, that's what I was born to do? Yeah, but you're there. You have a life. You you can go on and do all these wonderful things and well, experience all these Somebody things. made a decision on my behalf. What well, if they had a baby? What if they had a baby? What if they had a baby because they needed a kidney? Yeah. There's all different kinds of reasons that people have kids. All right. Well, that's my there. point. The that's the there. point I'm trying to make to you. Okay? People do have babies for money and for a number of other reasons. Or they have babies because they had sex with a famous person and they want to have that person's baby. You realize there's a Jesse Jackson Jr. And Mrs. Jesse Jackson is not the mother. Right. People do that. Hard as you find it to believe. In my rosy little life, is that what you're trying to right. say? Right. It's Harriet <laughs> Nelson calling in from Pleasantville. <laughs> All right. I'll take it. I'll take my rosy little life in the suburbs. People are. Hang are on a that. sec. Hang on a second, Stacy. Let me get Tanya on the line here. Tanya, what did you want to say to Stacy? It is. Oh my gosh, you're you're in a bubble. You're in a bubble. I can't believe this. Freaking scary spice. It's this is totally on her. What the heck was she doing? Just going around sleeping with people. Oh, she got pregnant, and then going up to this guy. Oh, well, you're gonna have to do this and this and this and this and this. I mean, where the heck was her responsibility? It's her body. She made the conscious decision to open her legs and get pregnant and have a kid. And then she yeah, and go he made a cost of court. She's gonna go drag donator him. in the whole process. It, 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 it takes two. It doesn't. It's not yeah, the It's like you know what? It takes two to do the deed. But when it's the end of the day, and when she's waking up vomiting for morning sickness, it's her damn decision. It's not. If Eddie Murphy is gonna go up and tell her, "Hey, I don't want you to have a kid. I don't want nothing to do with it," and she's still gonna go through with it, still have the kid, and then drag him, drag him to court just so she can say, a blood test can say, "Oh yeah, you're the guy." I mean, what's the point? Why? Why would she do that to this kid? So now she brought a, a, a daughter into the world who's going to grow up knowing, number one, her dad didn't want crap to do with her from the get-go. Number two, her mom didn't care, so she brought her into the world freaking anyway. And now she's going to grow up without a male influence. She's going to need major therapy. Thank you so much, Scary Spice, for bringing another dysfunctional child into the world. That that's is what I mean right now. That's, 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 that's my point is. That's what my point is, though. But when it doesn't have nothing to do with any need to take responsibility so for the child. No, Regardless of the situation, he didn't, both parents he didn't need to take responsibility for the child. It he takes didn't want two. it in the beginning. He didn't want it in the beginning, and she was being irresponsible from the get-go, having the kid in the freaking first place, knowing that the man she made it with didn't want crap to do with her or the kid. So, she was the one at being an idiot. So how, what kind of a real responsible mother and adult would do something like that? What kind of man would just walk away from a child? The, a man who doesn't freaking want it. Dude already has, like, what, five kids? 
I think he's already been there, done that. I think he's already done the daddy thing. It's not like this is his first child that's ever been born. He's already been there, done that. So she now it so it makes it okay. Too. Oh, I have five kids already. I don't want this one. I'm just going to walk away simply because of who yeah. the mother is. And you know what? Exactly, exactly what he did. And you know what she did? Oh no, she probably sat there thinking, oh no, I'm going to have this kid anyway, and then maybe Eddie will come back to my arms, and we'll be a big happy family. I mean, come on. She made a ridiculous choice for a man to have, especially to have a kid by. And now she's all, you know, oh, woe is me. Oh, you have to do this and you have to do that. No, he doesn't. And he knows he doesn't. Sure, he'll have to shell out some dough for the kid. But still, now she has this child who is in the world who's going to walk around for the rest of her life knowing that Eddie Murphy doesn't want crap to do with her. Ooh, gee, thanks, Mom. You know, I I told you what you guys are trying to say. All I'm saying is the kids shouldn't have to pay for it. Well, you know, what? He, you know with, it's just it it's, with it's, the mom. It down it to. starts with the mom. It starts with the mom. Kids don't get here unless the moms have them. That's the only way kids get there is if a woman has them and makes that decision to have them. It's just regardless not that of easy. what the situation it's, is. No, I mean it's still there. The child's there. Every well, you day, know what? The then there. that's the mom. Then that's the mom's problem right there. That's on the mom. <laughs> See, men, well, can, no matter men can who come and gone, freaking go. Men can come and parents. freaking go. At the end of the day, that child is with the mom. And the no, mom has to step up. I, I, I mean, you guys are Nina saying Sarah, it. I just that too. She, that, needs, she needs to know, do it. If people don't start taking responsibility, then, then the world's just going to go to pot. Well, then I guess men have to be more decisive of decisive of who they sleep with and how, and women have to be more decisive on who they're going to go around having kids with or if they're going to choose to have kids at all. You we're the just, ones who bring them into this it. world, you, and we're the ones who have to make those decisions. We can't go having kids and then start putting all these rules in place for the guy to follow. I mean, come on. I mean, really, come on. All the guy has to do is buy a, buy a plane ticket or a train ticket, and he's, he's gone, though. You're the one who's there with the kid every single day, doing the feeding, doing the changing, doing the dressing, doing the bathing, doing the school thing. I mean, really. I mean, you have to, I mean, use your freaking head. Use your head before you go and get pregnant and start having sex. Use your freaking head. Look at the guy you're with. Don't just think, oh, we're going to have a kid and everything's going to be great. No, it isn't. No, it isn't. Especially if you're not freaking married. No, it isn't. He has no obligation, especially if you're not married. Okay. <laughs> I, 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 I can sit here and argue with you all day. I just, I think it's, it's still, you know, the child, someone needs to be responsible for her, two people. Someone is. But it isn't going to be Eddie Murphy. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. And Have you know what? Day, I'm going to side with, Mur- so with Eddie on this one. Me too. <laughs> Thank you for the call. Whoa, there she goes. Oh, Thank you. she's upset. <laughs> I know she's upset. For God's sake. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Hit it. Hit it. Hit it. And quit it. The Tom Likas Show. Says here, Eddie Murphy's fiance Tracy Edmonds, won't live with Eddie till they're married. Tracy, who got engaged to Eddie in July after he proposed with a, quote, massive diamond Cartier ring, Eddie, 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 is sticking to traditional values. Ha, <laughs> ha! And she's marrying Eddie Murphy. Okay. Doesn't plan to move in with him until they are officially husband and wife. <laughs> she said, we haven't moved in together yet. We're waiting until we get married. She is a film producer, by the way. She's got two sons. And she says she's looking forward to having a noisy home when the couple's two families are brought together under one roof. She said, I think it's going to be fun for my kids because it's been just the three of us. If you come to my house, it's very peaceful, very quiet. And I think it's going to be fun for them to have other brothers and sisters to play with. Mm. I'll bet. Tracy also added that Eddie's six children, he has five children with ex-wife, Nicole Murphy, and one daughter, 
Angel Iris with Spice Girl Mel B are all, quote, wonderful. Uh, how would she know that? Did she go meet Eddie's daughter without him? Story in the San Francisco Chronicle, not accurate. What's the deal? She told People Magazine, The great thing is, Eddie has got beautiful, wonderful, smart, great children. And he's a great father. So we've had a chance to all kind of spend a bit of time together. Tracy still refused to reveal any details about when the couple would be tying the knot, but hinted it would be in the near future. She said, I'll just say it's coming soon. <laughs> Unbelievable. There you go. I don't understand this desire people have to have all these kids and live that lifestyle. I, I just don't get it, but that's me. Eddie Murphy, according to the San Francisco Chronicle, reports say that he does not want to ever meet the daughter he had with Melanie Brown or Mel B or Scary Spice or whatever her name is this year. Don't want to meet his daughter, according to the San Francisco Chronicle. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Michael, on the Tom Likas show, hello. Hello, Tom. Uh, first time, long, long time. Love you, man. Oh, my, papa. Anyway, Ooh. man, this reminds me of that movie, As Good As It Gets, Greatest Line by Jack Nicholson. Reason and accountability. They want to do whatever they want to do, don't have a reason for doing it, and then don't want to be accountable for their actions. And that woman who was talking before, she's acting like this woman is not rich and does not know how to use child birth control. Where's the pill? Well, amazing that she uh, didn't have a baby until she finally had sex with Eddie Murphy, and suddenly the birth control didn't work. How convenient. Oh, as soon as Mel saw Eddie, she saw a target and said, I'm going to let him hit this target. She was all about it. And that bitch that you were talking about before, that dingbat that was talking about, oh, it's all the women. What is she living in, a fishbowl? You got to be kidding me. <laughs> that, that is the dingiest. She does not have a clue how this world works. It must be great to live on that island she's living on. Because in the real world, and I, she can't act like she don't do the same thing. You meet people, you talk to people. Don't sit down and, okay, now that I've gotten your phone number, let's sit and talk and have an interesting conversation about a potential future. No. <laughs> People get together, they hook up. That's how it goes. That's how the world is. She needs to open her eyes and, 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 and smell that crap she's trying to smell everybody else. <laughs> That's absolutely right. She's sick. That's the sick, man. And the women are running around. They're still doing it. And Mel B is the goddess of gold diggers. She's the goddess of gold diggers. She knows exactly what she wants. She's getting money. She ain't. She's rich. She ain't wealthy. Eddie's wealthy. She want, just like Chris Rock said. There's rich. There's wealthy. She wants to be wealthy. <laughs> and she saw Eddie coming and saw that pocket. That's right. It's sick man. Blow me up, Tom. Please. Here you go, baby. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That is our telephone number. Let's say hello here to Vanessa on the Tom Like His Show. Hello. Hi Tom. Hi Vanessa. Just want to tell you. Um, you said, does he have the right? Absolutely, he has the right not to see that kid, because we all have choices. That's the bottom line. That's what makes us American. We all have choices. I know from experience, I'm 33 now, so as you're concerned, I'm, you know, over the hill. But when I was 22, young and dumb, I had unprotected sex and got pregnant. And the guy said to me, look, if you have this, it's, it's your choice. If you want to have this kid, I'm just telling you right now, I, I'm not going to be a father to it. I'm not going to be there. And I was like, okay, and I got an abortion. Did I want to get an abortion? No. Did I want to get pregnant? No. But I was dumb enough to get myself into that situation. But I was also smart enough to not have a kid with somebody who did not want a child because it's not fair to the child. And this is a woman. We're not talking about a child. Melanie B or whatever her name is, is a woman. So she completely made the wrong choice. And, you know, yeah, I do feel bad for the baby, but at the same time, it's the mom's fault, not Eddie Murphy's. He has every right to say, I don't want to be there. I told you before, and it's your choice to raise this child on your own. 
And as far as Mel, that guy said she just, you know, she's going to be wealthy now. She's not going to get money for her. She's going to get money for that baby. So maybe the baby will have a little more stability. But she, she's not going to get paid. She's not going to get alimony or anything. She just got pregnant. So I don't know. We all have choices, and she obviously made the wrong one. Or uh, put it this way. If what she wanted to do was have his baby, what what happened was she uh, she miscalculated what kind of person she was having sex with. He didn't want to have a baby with her. Obviously, she got the wrong idea. Yeah. And you know what? This this new one that he's with, you know, she's beautiful and everything, but not too not too bright. I mean, it's just kind of she just kind of sounds stupid to me. But whatever. Women can be really dumb and you I just love this topic and you really do both men and women a service from this this show. It really is awesome. I love listening to you, Tom and you know, when you do call women bitches and stuff, it's usually warranted. So, kudos to you, man. Thank you, Vanessa. Have a good one. Appreciate the call. Let's go to Tasha on the Tom Likas show. Hello, Tasha. Um, I wanted to talk about uh, Mel B and Eddie Murphy. I think Eddie Murphy is just a loser. He needs to just con him on. I mean, you know. We don't, wait, wait. First of all, you don't know that. No, okay, yeah, yeah. I don't know that. But, okay, if she was on birth control, why, and he didn't want to get her pregnant, he should have just been safe and wore a condom. We Those don't know condoms, that he did. Wait, wait, wait. We don't know that he didn't. Condoms leak. They break. I know, but the situation is, at first he tried to say that it wasn't his kid, and then turns out that it is his kid, and now he doesn't want to see his kid. Like, that that's just not right at all. What? Well, wait a minute. I, 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 if he didn't want to be a father with her as kid, if he did not want to have a kid with her, why should he have to participate? She made the decision against his will on her own to have his baby. Then he shouldn't have had sex with her. He shouldn't have just had sex with her because. But how did he yeah, know she was going to be like that not, until later? She's not wealthy, but I don't think she's a gold digger or anything. To be oh, you like, don't. Oh, Eddie Murphy, I want to get him. And now she avoided having up. any children until she got well into her thirties. How'd that happen? Huh? She avoided having any babies until well into her thirties. Do you think this is an accident? Um, no, I don't think it's, it's an accident, but I don't think... She, she just was. happened to, to hit the jackpot. She had sex with Eddie Murphy. I'm pretty sure she ran into in my more opinion. wealthier guys in London. I mean, I know it's way expensive to live out. But this is London. Eddie sure Murphy. It, you be, having sex with Eddie Murphy can revive your career. Sure enough, we see the Spice Girls came back recently. I mean, who knows if that had anything to do with it. I don't know if that had anything to do with Eddie Murphy, but I don't think... No, that's not what I said. I mean, it could be because she had sex with Eddie Murphy. It got her name in the news, and there was interest rekindled in seeing her on stage. Yeah, that's true. That is true. I, I, I don't disagree with you on that. But I just think it's so wrong that he doesn't want to see the child. If a man does not want to be a father, if a man does not want to be a father, that woman should not be having babies with his sperm. No, if that man does not want to be a father, he needs to not have sex. No, men are going to have to... sex. Men are going to have sex. That's the way it is. We are animals, and men are going to have sex, and there's nothing you can do about that. Okay, what you can do woman? something about is whether or not you're going to have a baby. You know, there's a phrase, planned parenthood, and it's there for a reason, because it can be planned. Okay, but me as a woman, if I don't want to get pregnant, I'm going to go through all the precautions. I'm going to make sure I have... I'm going to make sure that I have uh, birth control. I'm going to make sure the guy is wearing a condom. I mean, I don't think that she would have got tried to literally get So what you like think that. is that she wanted to have a baby just like it's what I think. The Tom Likas Show.